And you're going to be tying into the carotid sinus a little bit. And yeah, it could be serious. I mean, everything could be. But so could two by four upside the head. But now, we've been told for years that this is a dip mock a death point. Okay? And I don't know about you guys, but I've struck it for a couple decades now. And I haven't killed anybody yet. All right? But it does put them down quite quickly. Okay? And let's go into an application. See, I promised you. I fixed my foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so stomach nine is right here at the front of the sternocolatoid mastoid muscles. Okay, now this muscle here is not a single muscle. It feels like a, si a single muscle, a strong muscle at that on some people. But it's actually strand of muscle that you have to separate in between. Now, a lot of people try to find this area and chop to the body, and all the karate styles have karate chops to the neck. I mean, you saw odd job on Google. <coughs> it's been around for years. Okay, but what happens is they hit the muscle itself, and it really protects it. All right, so if I strike over here, okay, he feels it a little bit, but it's muted because it's on the muscle. I'm hitting muscle. What I need to do is I have to penetrate in between those muscle strands coming in. Now, in the bubishi, there's a hand position. It's called the single blade of grass. Okay? Now, for all intents and purposes, people look at that and they're thinking, okay, maybe I'll strike like this. Now, my finger's not strong enough to be using that as a weapon. Okay? I don't train my hands on in the way they used to in the old days. They used to uh, train really hard because it was like the situations. And their bones would fuse together, they'd annihilate their hands, but they still could use them as weapons. Okay. So I'm going to use this single bladed grass hand a little bit differently to go into that, that, that pressure point. Now, again, people look at the yang qualities of a weapon all the time, but they don't look at the yin qualities, or they don't look at the whole weapon. Okay? To form that yin, the fingers have to come down. That's an action. If there's an action, there's a reason for it. Okay? And it's not just this one hand. Now, you see this hand position a lot in Hungar Kung Fu and some different styles. Uh, you have it in Shotokan uh, Karate where they're doing this type of movements. You see them going sideways all the time. Okay, and you see them coming in this way as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use this, this part of my hand here as a grabbing idea, a grabbing stretching idea. So if I grab down into the clavicle right in through here, what I'm doing is I'm actually separating that muscle, okay, and bringing out some area so I can stretch that muscle, stretch the nerve like a guitar string to make it um, a better effect. Okay, let's step back away from the mirror just a little bit. Okay? If I do this, all I did was I grabbed onto the clavicle, I stretched the nerves, okay, I, I separated the muscle around a little bit, and then I just poked my finger onto the raw nerve. Okay? And just by using that one finger, like your mother used to do, okay, you can get a decent effect. It's a pretty quick technique. Now, here's the catch. Okay? Not dead. Oh. Okay, there's no physical injury to the man. Okay, and that's the benefit. But that's what we were told so many years. If you hit them here, they're going to die. It's going to do some, <laughs> some serious damage. And yes, it can. Okay, if you hit severely enough. Okay, but when you use the proper weapons, you can have any amount of control you want. From control to putting a person down to going a little bit more serious technique. All right, so we're going to ask you to try this. Now, when you do this, I'm not going to do it again, but make sure you grab a cross. Because what I need to do is I have to take this strand of muscle and I have to shift it away so I can get to the raw nerve. Okay? So your fingers are actually going to be doing the grabbing. You see that little pocket that it forms in there? That's where you're going to put your finger. Now, when you put your finger in there, you have to get that energy transfer that I was mentioning earlier. So what you're going to do is you're going to stretch it and then go right in with that fingertip and you can go right into the nerve to get the person down. Okay? Let's give that a try.